morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is Sunday, October 27th, 2024, near Olancha, uh, California, along the Walker Lane Seismic Zone. They've been a rockin' and a rollin'. With 19 earthquakes in the last 30 days, uh, today there was a magnitude 2.6 and a 3.3. All of these are very shallow, yeah, which is concerning. Hope you're enjoying your weekend and prepping for World War III. This is another reason why we should all prepare for any type of disaster. These are all real shallow. This was 0 0.8 kilometers in depth. The 3.3 uh, was 1.0 kilometers in depth. Now that was on, let's see, the 25th. Um, that one was uh, 4. Point, no, uh, 2.5 miles in depth. Um, also a 1.4. Let me go to Google Earth. I drew out the different fault zones. We also have the Ancha Aqueduct. Um, this brings water all the way down to Los Angeles. And they do have a history of large earthquakes in this location. Let me go into where these earthquakes have been occurring. I got it drawn out in red. Um, the Southern Sierra Nevada Fault Zones. They haven't really done a lot of research recently that I could find. For the Southern Sierra Nevada Fault Zones. There's a lot. Um, waterways often follow the different faults. And you can yeah, see them all through here. Yeah, so if they had a large earthquake that interrupted the water supply for Los Angeles, that would be devastating. Um, like I said, this area does have a history of large earthquakes and smaller earthquakes. Um, it's a misconception. People believe that the smaller earthquakes would relieve tension. Um, it doesn't do that. It just is a signature that a large earthquake is possible and the pressure is building in that location. Back in 2009, this was an interesting earthquake by Owens Lake. Um, there was a magnitude 5.2 earthquake. In October of 2009 and it actually caused liquid faction the ground turned to jello um, and that's because the earthquake was so shallow I think maybe about a um, one kilometer in depth yeah it just yeah the water just uh, jiggled around and um, they did a lot of research about the liquefaction that occurred from that earthquake there was also a 4.8 in the, oh, no 4.3 excuse me in that same location but earthquakes of magnitude 5 generally do not cause liquefaction but being so close to Owens Lake and the depth of the water table is probably why it occurred then down over here more recently let me see uh, let's see 2019 there was a 7.1 earthquake there was a foreshock before that, a magnitude 6.4. This was in September of 2019. Yeah, so we got something going on here. I hope everyone is prepared. The Walker Lane actually absorbs about 25% of the plate movement of North America, whereas the San Andreas Fault absorbs about 75%. Just another indication that our plates are moving. This fault zone goes all the way down to the Garlock fault zone. And all the way up here um, by Owens Lake. It actually extends even farther, but it's broken up a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it was a real rare event to have liquefaction. If you're in an area where the uh, surface water is close to uh, yeah where your buildings are at yeah they very well could sink you would think with the aqueduct that you know brings the water to Los Angeles and the uh, reservoir they would have done more research about the potential of the earthquake hazards in this location but 
They really haven't. Now, the 3.3 earthquake that occurred at 6.48 a.m. local time, I believe, two people said they felt it. USGS did give it an intensity level of 5, meaning someone had damage. Felt by most people, some breakage of dishes, windows, plaster, cracks in the wall, disturbance of tall objects. You know, whoever had the felt report and had damage, maybe you should check your water and gas lines. Here's the felt report map from USGS Ridgecrest. Oh my goodness. Okay, intensity level 5. One response from there. Lone Pine. Intensity level three. One report from there. So let's see if you, um, Google Earth will take me to Ridgecrest. Way down over here. Huh. Now we do know that there has been a history of um, earthquakes in that location. Oh, that's close to where the uh, um, 7.1 occurred. Okay. And the um, 6.4. Yeah, you know, one, I believe there was one death. Um, some poor fellow was under his uh, vehicle working on it. And, uh, yeah, the jacks or whatever collapsed. So very sad. The 2.6 occurred at uh, 6.28 a.m. local time. One report from there. Intensity level 2. Let's see. That would be probably close to Lone Pine, maybe. They don't give a, a name of the location. The 2.4 actually was um, late last night, yesterday, at 11.31 um, p.m. local time. No one said they felt it. But I did save this because we got a moment tensor ball showing how we got spreading. This is a thrust earthquake. Yeah, it looks like the fault dipped going down towards the southeast. The 3.3 earthquake, yep. Here's the moment tensor ball for that one. Yeah, it dipped down going um, also southeast. No moment tensor ball for the magnitude 2.6. And that was the most recent earthquake. Did you feel any of these earthquakes? Even the magnitude 3.3, like I said, these are real shallow. And it could be concerning depending on how deep your water level is there. Yeah, are you prepared for a large earthquake or any type of disaster? Have medical supplies while you wait for some someone to come and help you if you're injured? Are you prepared to be on your own for any length of time? Uh, water, most important. Food, medical supplies, things like that. Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. At the end of every month, YouTube's uh, little AI um, just for some reason unsubscribes people from their favorite channels. I don't know. They think you're little bots. Well, the AI is actually the bot. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Bye.